you for a little bit. Let's think of the influence of interfacial energy on the precipitate shape. Remember, this class is quite often related to how do we understand the material microstructure. How do we understand material microstructure? We understand how do we understand why that's only three green comes together, right? That's a microstructure. Why do we understand, okay, that's 120 degree between the neighboring green boundary angle, right? This class is quite often it's about understanding the microstructure. So, how do we understand the interfacial energy on the precipitate shape? One phase coming out from another phase, what does the shape? The simplest case would be, okay, we have beta precipitate within alpha single crystal. Beta precipitate within alpha single crystal. Let's for simplicity assume no volume stream. Assume that uh, there's no volume. The, the volume of precipitate versus the volume of that gap in the host is the same, which means there's no pushing or, or, or pulling, okay? And then the shape and the orientation for the precipitate would be determined by minimization of the total AI gamma I for gamma 4 interfacial energy, AI for the interfacial area for that particular interface. So sigma AI gamma I just tells us the total interfacial energy. If we neglect the volume mis misfit energy, the equilibrium shape would be determined by the minimization of this whole thing. Make sense? Okay, and if we are talking about uh, the fully coherent precipitate, fully coherent precipitate, sometimes people call it a GP zone, which is I illustrate something like this. Host, outside, inside, so-called precipitate, perfect match of what? Crystal structure and the lattice parameter well, match pretty closely, okay? And the f they would have so-called the fully coherent uh, precipitate, which means it's just a perfect match everywhere. And what uh, would the, the shape of this look like, precipitate? We are trying, we said, okay, precipitate has the same crystal structure, very similar, lattice constant. The shape, quite often, they would have matching of orientation and uh, the shape, naturally. These individual energy are quite often not very sensitive to their orientation and to, in order to minimize this guy, the smallest interfacial area would be just what? A so-called spherical precipitate. That gives you the smallest total interfacial area and the smallest interfacial energy. Make sense? That's quite often if they have perfect uh, match. On the other hand, if we are talking about a completely incoherent precipitate, something like this, like between iron and carbon, between iron and carbon, the carbon has much, much smaller what? Lattice parameter than iron, half of it roughly. In this case, if it's only half of it, they don't even try to match at all. Okay? Very different crystal structure of no match of any crystal plane. In those cases, quite often, quite often, you would find the precipitate take the shape of what? Spherical. If people anew a steel that contains some carbon in it, if you anew for long enough time, that uh, graphite within that steel would uh, or cast iron would become so-called spherical, complete perfect uh, sphere. Okay. In order to what? Minimize the total interfacial area because in this case the interfacial energy does not really depend on misorientation whatsoever it's just a constant value and in that case you are just trying to minimize the total surface interfacial area spherical very common but in some cases people may see other shapes but they don't really indicate so-called coherency mm -hmm. 